hello everyone today i am going to implement headshots so if i take a headshot on a character the character will instantly die but if i shoot anywhere else uh, he won't die so a headshot will instantly kill so this is what i am going to work on today how to determine headshots and how to instantly kill an npc character if i take a headshot and I am planning to use that to implement the headshot bullet camera effect for the sniper. At the moment, I don't have such an effect. Uh, and also, uh, unlike this pistol, uh, the sniper can instantly kill any char uh, the characters regardless of where we hit. So I'm gonna make implement that feature also a way to customize the amount of damage caused by each weapon right let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support okay so at the moment when i shoot with the sniper See, if I shoot the, a character, some NPC, he's not uh, dying directly. I have to shoot multiple times. And about after shooting about 5 bullets, he's going to die. So that's because I have uh, the same damage amount for each gun. I haven't actually modified that. So, to fix that, uh, what I'm gonna do is let's go to the BP gun and uh, here under we should have yeah under fire we should have emit bullet function here here on the object that we hit we call on bullet hit and here the damage amount is 20 so let's promote this to a variable let's call it the damage and i think it would be better if i put it right next to this ammo counts etc because it's related right so then uh now after setting that so i can have different values for each type of gun uh, but for the sniper i even if i shot a leg or somewhere else the other character should die so here oh as you can see mm -hmm. this has 0 as the default value so I'm gonna set it to 100 and now that I have set the bullet damage maybe I should check other guns as well because sometimes they can have 0 yeah for some reason yeah let me reset them Wait, actually you have to reset all of them and you can assign whatever the value you need to have for the bullet damage let me check a few of them right. right now let's test i should be able to kill npc with one shot yeah okay mm. and what else uh also with other guns let me check the pistol now it's same. I have to shoot couple of times. But if I make a headshot, the character should die instantly. And that will be useful when I implement the bullet time for the sniper rifle. So there also I need to detect if I'm making a headshot. If I make a headshot, I should see the bullet camera effect. Like in popular sniper games. 
right so how do we detect if it is a head sort so in here on bullet hit right so here if i go to the implementation of this it's in the cs soldier this is just a event that i have implemented through bpi damageable interface so here let me add an additional parameter let's call it hit location it should be a vector right now here we have this hit location parameter as well and we need to give this hit location in in the bp gun oh, this is a bit cluttered right so hit location would be so as i know actually for a line trace both impact point and hit location is the same mm, so i'll give that and now here in order to detect a headshot let me open the character mesh first and let's show the bones or the hierarchy right now here uh, this must be the head yeah this is head and this is neck yeah this is neck bone this is head bone so if it is a headshot uh, the closest bone uh, to that hit location should be uh head or if it is something like here it could be neck as well so right, let's just consider discard that case so anywhere over here when a hit happens it should be the closest bone should be the head right then let's get uh wait let's get this mesh this one as well let me collapse this uh, let me add a reroute bow node and collapse this detect head shot uh, uh, no no collapse this to a function is head shot oh wait no let's uh, rename this get get processed more location right now here we have a location and the mesh uh, get all bone no right here we have a function get all socket names right then let's run a for each loop for now let me just print the name just to see if I'm getting all the names of the bones test yeah it is working you can see all the board names listing 
listed in the left side but actually I don't need to have all those names uh, it would be enough if I have only a few uh, uh, yeah actually it would be efficient to have only a few so let me promote this to an array variable phone names compile so I'm gonna copy all the important bond names starting from pelvis I'll do it off the screen of the recording right so this is the set of bonds I used and then for each of these bonds I can get Socket location using this name, and then from this location, I can get the distance. From the hit location to this socket location, and this is a function so I can have a local variable let's call it main list this should be a float and I'll add a very large value here so that any value I get at first will be less than the default value and also I'll promote this one to a variable as well oh wait not a variable a local variable processed no need to set it uh, unless this distance if this distance is less than the current minimum distance this bone is the closest bone let's have a branch here based on this condition and also the new minimum distance would be this value right and after all the bones are calculated all the distances from all these bone list is calculated at the end we will have the closest bone so here let's add a return node and closest bone I'll add it as a return type Here. right then in here let's print the closest wall to see if this is working Calf, hand, upper, head. Okay, so it is working. Then, if this closest one is equal, mm -hmm. let's add an additional parameter here. is head shot so here if this one equals to the head socket name that 
means what's the exact name? Head, yeah. Let me copy that. Oh, let me just type head. If this is the case, this should be true. And then if it is a headshot, uh, uh, let's add the select shot mode here based on this value. If it is false, the damage will be whatever the value we have, the default damage from the gun. Otherwise, this should be 100. Right now, if I shoot the head, character will instantly die like that. Let me try again. If I shoot somewhere else, he's not dying, but the headshot will instantly kill. All right, so that's the effect that's what i wanted to implement today and as i mentioned earlier i'm gonna use this to activate the sniper bullet camera in a future episode okay and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.